position responsible for managing exceptional child education services. The state will audit the district again in 2020 if the goals in that action plan are not met. Then the state can fully take over the district. The district did not give up their right to appeal the findings of that audit with this agreement. Way 3 News reporter Andrina Sentliver has more details about why some board members aren't happy with the agreement. The board was torn. Those for the agreement say they're ready to compromise, and those against it say they don't trust KDE. That I will make a motion on behalf of the board to accept the agreement that we have received from Commissioner Lewis. After weeks of negotiating on an agreement that would put off a complete state takeover, JCPS board chairwoman Diane Porter stood up to accept it. Fellow members Stephanie Horn, Linda Duncan, and Ben Guys followed suit. All gave reasons for their vote, saying they stood behind the leadership of Porter and Superintendent Polio. They believed the compromise was the best decision for the district. Yes, we could go to court for two to three years, but is that in the best interest of our district?